What's up, everybody? You're not trying hard enough. I don't know what the fucking problem is. What's up, everybody? About four months ago or so, I did a build walkthrough on a 72 volt razor, similar to this, smaller stock wheels, uh, kind of more basic components. But today, this is V2. I want to go over it with you. Let's get after it. So to start off the bike here, I'm gonna go over the purchase price of the bike and all the part costs. The, the cost of the bike initially was a hundred bucks. These wheels here, these are 14 inch wheels, front and back, both are 14 inch. The, uh, they're, so the front wheel on Amazon was a hundred bucks. The rear wheel, and this includes the tires, it was $119, so $220 in wheels. The calipers, uh, from Amazon and this whole bike you probably buy 90% of it on Amazon $33 for the front brake and that includes the brake line and the lever $32 for the rear which includes the caliper and the, the line doesn't include the discs the discs were $17 each on Amazon uh, the plastics also on Amazon $27 check them out I'll include links for that you can get all kinds of different colors uh, kind of whatever whatever color you want color scheme you're going for the graphics these I got on eBay for uh, $40 I'll include the seller's name in the comments and that's got the uh, you can I customize mine with Voltron Watts uh, if you don't already follow give me a follow a like a subscribe you know do the things the headlight headlight was $30 on Amazon I had the option here to pick a, a, a clear lens or a yellow lens I, I like yellow lenses myself, just my just my take. Uh, the handlebars, handlebars are 30 bucks. Includes the included the the bar pad. The uh, the grips were ten dollars. Ten dollars on Amazon for the grips. Moving over here, the throttle throttle was 102 dollars from Lone Star Electric, and it came with the Kelly connection already on it, so it plugged right up. And also too here, I did this voltmeter up here. So when I hit my on switch, my voltage comes up right here in the tank. I cut that out, inserted that. I'll include a link for that too. It's pretty trick. I like that. And under the tank here is a down converter. So the down converter is under here and it allows me to run my light and the rear lights. And I'll probably put LEDs on here. It takes the voltage from the battery, converts it into a usable voltage for the accessories. And that was $25 on Amazon. Battery is a 72 volt battery from Amridge. Uh, you can go ahead and contact Alan there. I'll include his email address in the description. The seat was $30 on Amazon. The seat cover I got from Andrew Buchanan. You can find him on Facebook. I'll include his contact information down below. It's custom. He sent that to me, he made a video on that <clears throat> not long ago. So check that out. So I did a video on forks not long ago and the gold part of the, the forks are from eBay. The red triple clamps are from Mike Sen. Those were $108 shipped. The tubes on eBay were $113. The rear shock is a 210 millimeter DNM mountain bike shock ran these on several of my bikes i had great luck with them the chain is an eight millimeter chain with the stock sprocket it's a custom made 72 tooth eight millimeter sprocket from electric scooter parts that sprocket was about 80 bucks moving over to the motor the motor is an electro and co ec4p that was 326 dollars might have been probably the best $300 I've spent on this bike. That motor rips, man. If you're not on the waiting list or don't have one uh, in one of these bikes, you're missing out. The uh, controller, the controller is a Kelly KBD 7212NX from Electro and Company. I have no complaints with that controller. I'm thinking I'm going to move on to a far driver or a noisy cricket when that comes out. I know that's kind of where the...
Thank you.